Hello there. Well, uh, in this video, I wanted to introduce you to the TL Maths A Level Maths textbook um, that I co authored with my colleague Danny Hosford. Uh, she wrote half of it, I wrote the other half, I worked through her half, and she worked through my half. So, together, uh, both of us have worked through all of the questions in this textbook. Uh, so, it was a lot of work, um, and I've put it off uh, making this video, introducing the textbook, um, really so that we could uh, get everything set up uh, so that it could be bought online uh, fairly easily. Um, and, you know, that, that in itself um, of self-publishing and uh, going through all those kind of bits and pieces that have to be done uh, takes a long time, as you might imagine. Um, so, really, in this video, I just wanted to uh, show you what it's all about, uh, what the rationale was, um, why we did it, um, and the style that the textbook takes, okay, and its approach. So, um, first things first, um, why did we write this? Um, well, at the end of the day, the main reason was uh, that we weren't happy with uh, the available textbooks as they were. Um, mainly in the sense of uh, the exercises that were within them um, didn't really offer enough questions and enough challenge. Um, and not just enough challenge, but also from the other end, it, they didn't scaffold enough. So, um, essentially, a lot of pages in textbooks are taken up with uh, long explanations and examples of where the maths has come from, how it works, um, and then leaves just a short amount of space for an exercise. When we thought, well, actually, in the classroom or at home, um, if you have uh, been taught a topic in class, um, you don't need to read through the examples in the textbook. Uh, you've gone through that. You've got that material written down in your notes. What you want is a series of questions to go through. So from the point of view of the teacher, there are many more questions in here than a regular textbook would have. Um, from the point of view of a student, um, you have either had the lesson or you've watched some YouTube videos um, and now you want to practice it and you want to practice it up to exam level. Okay, So this is what this textbook is designed to do. Okay, So um, let's take a look at it. So let's take a look inside. So we've got a nice caricature of myself and uh, Danny, and uh, this was uh, done by my brother actually. There's a QR code link, and I'll pop a link into the description as well, uh, so you can take a look at his other caricaturing work. Um, there is a contents uh, that shows how we have split the book up. Um, including uh, the fact that it's the AS content first, and then we have the full A-level content that's not AS material. Split up into pure statistics and mechanics in both sections. The statistics includes uh, separate sections on each of the large data sets for each of the exam boards. Okay, so uh, depending on which exam board you're working with, uh, you will find a useful exercise there. So let's just take a look at a few of the pages so you can kind of get used to the layout. There's quite an emphasis on graph sketching. Uh, so there's lots and lots of diagrams that students can work through, uh, including modeling sections as well. So we've got linear modeling, and then we go on to quadratics. So graph sketching using the discriminant, and then quadratic modeling. Okay, so similar to the type of exam questions that you find. Okay, so you'll also see that at the top of each page, uh, we have uh, a page numbering for the answers. 
So this is quite useful. So you could easily find where the answers are. So for section 1.15, 421. So let's find page 421. Uh, 1.15, graph sketching. And there are my solutions. So there are answers in the back for all of the questions. Um, and although these are just the answers, uh, full work solutions are available on the TL Maths website. And that's all for free download or to share with students and staff. OK, so um, lots and lots and lots of practice. No space is taken up with uh, examples. Uh, and descriptions of what the content is, uh, the idea is that that's all done through the videos or through the teaching. Throughout also, we have uh, prerequisite knowledge sections as well, or labels rather, uh, which tell you that for these specific questions, uh, you need to know about radians. And because teachers teach the content in all sorts of different orders, it may well be that you haven't met radians yet, so you'll know to skip that question. Or it may well be that you have done radians, and that means you know you can access it. Okay. There is also, right at the end, uh, an index. And this will also not just identify the main area, so for binomial series, for example, uh, the main section in the textbook where it is, but it'll also tell you where all of those prerequisites are. So it may well be you're practicing binomial series and you think, well, I've tried all those questions. Let's go to page 281. And here we go. Uh, the prerequisite knowledge for question 19 to 20 binomial series. And so now I can try these questions and I know that they will also be on small angle approximation. OK, so that helps uh, with the interleaving process as well. So if you're interested in purchasing a copy, then head on over to tlmaths.com and you can click on the textbook on the main page and that'll take you through to the page that has a way of buying it um, and also has all of the worked solutions there as well. So I'll pop a link in the description below so you can go straight there to that page. Um, so. If you do purchase a copy, let us know how it goes, um, what you think of it, um, and I hope you find it really useful.